Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Jango World. So in today's video, we are going to see filtering. So first, why do we use filter? So filtering is basically used to filter out the data from the uh, thousands of the objects and uh, it can basically helps us or the user to look into the data according to their requirements and they can select the uh, one object from that okay so if i open up the flipkart website flipkart or amazon amazon.in okay so here i am searching for let's say hard disk okay so i'll say hard disk external hard disk So you can see there are many type of filter applied over here. Some are the fixed filter and some are on the pricing. Okay. This is known as ordering filter. So we can order the particular object by pricings and uh, many other type of filtering over here. Okay. So same thing applies to the our REST API. So if I click on this 1000 to 5000 then it will list all the uh, hard disk which are in the range of 1000 to 5000 okay so I hope you got idea about filtering okay so first I'll go to the Django REST framework.org now filtering can be implemented using the URL okay so filtering against the current user then filtering against the URL, filtering against the parameters, okay, and generic filtering. We will see this topic in the next video, but let us see this filtering against URL and filtering against parameter, okay. And filtering are basically applied using three types. First is Django backend filter, second is search filter, and third is ordering filter. So we are going to see three of them but first let us see normal filtering okay so once this is done let us start with url filter url filtering so url filtering is nothing but the filtering which you apply using the primary key of the particular user the object which we fetch from using primary key is known as url filtering but still i will show you okay so to apply this filter i'll just comment out this query set we don't need that i'll also remove this uh, permission for now okay and this throttling okay so first i need to write the function so i'll say def query set get query set okay sorry here yeah i'll just remove this one and here I'll say blog dot objects dot filter. Here I am trying to filter according to the author. So I'll just say author underscore underscore username. equals to username okay now here i will say username equals to self dot quarks dot get and i will say username okay so since we are modifying this blog list create view we also need to modify this list because here we are basically overriding the particular serializer and listing all the data it is not going to filter out okay so once this is done let's go to the urls.py because we need to modify this uh, list create view okay and we need to change this list create view to only list api view see once this video is over I'll just undo all the changes. This is just to explain you guys. Okay. Please keep in mind and follow accordingly. 
all right so i'll just go to the urls.py now here i'll just modify this url this one and here i will comment this first one and here i can say str username slash okay so once this is done let's go to the browser blog slash blog list our server is not running so i'll say python my not py run server refresh to here it says blog and blog list and i will write admin and slash so you can see i got all the blogs which are related to admin okay so let me go to the admin panel now here we have one two and three result okay so i'll just log into admin i'll go to blogs and this markdown i'll just change the user to yash okay save refresh now you can see i got only two response so if i write yash over here so you can see i got one block which is related to yash so this is known as url filtering okay now let's see parameter based filtering so in this parameter based filtering there is nothing much but we need to change this line only so if i just copy this one come over here and paste it now this is converted into parameter but we also need to modify the url because this time we are not getting the username from the url but we are passing the username to url okay so we need to remove this one just remove that username but we can use the last url so i'll just remove that and uncomment this one okay now once this is done let's go to the blog site again just refresh over here there is nothing much but if i say question mark and uh, let's say author author underscore underscore username equals to admin okay we don't need to write author underscore underscore we just we just need to write uh, username equals to admin and yeah we got two blocks related to admin so if i write yash over here so you can see i got yash so after writing this question mark we are basically giving the parameter to url that this is the link okay this is the link and in this link i am adding one parameter and filter that data according to that parameters we are basically doing that only so here it's username and equals to yash so it is finding me that the author of the blog should be yash give all the blogs which is related to yash that's it so this is known as parameter based filtering okay so i hope you got idea about both type of filtering and i am going to teach you the django backend filtering i mean basically generic filtering in the next video because we need to install the external package which is known as django hyphen filters okay we need to install this package and set up the project so i will cover this whole topic in the next video so yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt please let me know in the comments below and if you have any suggestion please let me know so yeah this is it for today's video